All right, we're doing a tier list. Yes, it's been four months since I did a tier list on green units. So the placement of the units is different from the last time that I recorded this video. And it's changed pretty, like the changes are pretty big actually, because you can see green gold, there's only, <laughs> the only one in SS tier, which is kind of insane. But um, all these other units, they just been moved around. Some stayed, but definitely some have changed. So, I mean, yeah, it's been four months since I did this, which is insane. Now, apologies if the audio sounds a little off. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best setup for my new mic stand. Um, I also have a pop filter, so it should sound somewhat more clean, but I guess I'll see post-recording, right? But yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. So Glaxinia, he's definitely C-tier. Um, my boy Glaxinia, honestly, he doesn't do much. He has a bleed card, and he also disables attack skills, but otherwise, that's it. He just, he isn't good. Um, when he dropped, he wasn't good. It's just unfortunate, too, because Glaxinia, the red variant, is very powerful. Actually, red Glaxinia, I will say, is a unit I heavily underestimated. But green Glaxinia, just, he doesn't provide much. His passive's not good. Um, you know, his ultimate has ruin, which can be good. But unfortunately, it's just, you know, he doesn't do much himself. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He is definitely a C tier. Now, green Arthur. Green Arthur, I'm, uh, I don't know. I want to put him in SS tier, right? Because in terms of just green units overall, green Arthur is definitely up there. The only thing that holds him back, in my opinion, is the fact that his passive is only for uh, basically events, literally just events. You can't use it in deathmatch. You can't use it in PvP. So you have to use it like in final boss, reverse, no, not reverse stages. Um, you know, uh, what is it? Training cave, training cave. I guess you could use it in reverse stages, but I don't think there's a stage where you use Arthur. So whenever we get a stage, you use Arthur. Um, yeah, you could use Green Arthur. I mean, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Let me know down in the comments if there is. But I think that's the only thing that holds him back is the fact that his passive is restricted from deathmatch. PvP is understandable, but deathmatch. I mean, come on now. It's, it's 2021. Come on, All right? So definitely S tier. Now Easton probably would be b tier i don't think she's any lower or any higher she's very good she has weak points she can self proc weak point with her skill too which you know lowers attack on rank three it seals ultimate move gauge it um what else does it do disable recovery skills on rank two i believe in rank one um i'm not too sure let's go look at it right now actually but i'm sure it's rank one that it does that but uh, she's good it's just nowadays units are just so much stronger like it's not you know what i mean it's it's not her fault she's aged but i don't think she's aged terribly so yeah disable recovery skills for two turns sealed ultimate move gauges and then decreases attack um by 20 percent also her passive is very good i kind of wish that this was increases allies attack related stats rather than pierce rate crit chance and crit damage but it is what it is right she's still good um again like i said she's aged but I don't think she's aged too terribly. The reason why also Death Pierce is still in B tier is probably because of his passive. He is still very good on the sub slot, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure Death Pierce will stay B tier for a long time until they make another unit that has his same passive, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, that's why Death Pierce is on there. But I'll explain all the other units after the new one. So Hawk, Hawk is probably C tier, but once he's buffed, during the celebrations he easily could go to a tier i could see it but for now we're gonna put him in c tier but that's that's pretty much it um yeah that's the whole explanation for him demon hendrickson is definitely a tier um you could you could put him in s range right you could with shin because him and shin have a very good gold farming team so you could put them together but i would just put Demon Hendrickson, just looking at the unit himself, I would put Demon Hendrickson probably in A tier. I mean, he's really not that powerful unless he's, you know, with a good team. He's not looking all that impressive. He does bleed and shock. But again, that doesn't do much because the multipliers are low since it's a DLT debuff, right? So the multipliers are low. So that's not his fault. But his passive is good. It increases the uh, debuff attack skills by 50%. So um, that's pretty good, right? But overall, he probably would just stay in A tier. But still, that's really good for Demon Hendrickson. He came out as a support unit for Festival King. And now he's, you know, he's made a, a name for himself. Demon Hendrickson is still good. Still good. Liz, I'll probably just put B tier as well. 
literally just her passive and deathmatch for Belmoth. That's it. That's literally it. Nothing else. Um, she doesn't provide anything besides her passive in deathmatch. So I think that's yeah, that's it. But um, it is a very good passive. It is a very good passive because it ranks up all skills, right? All skills on the field, it will rank them up at the start of the turn. So it's very, very clutch too. So um, she's honestly just B tier. I wouldn't put her anything higher or lower. Um, Yeah, I don't know why. I, I was like S tier, but I have to remember that this is just green units, right? Looking at it from just a green unit perspective and he can be used everywhere. Assault mode is good. I mean, there's really nothing bad except for the fact that I guess you could say he's restricted to demons and commandments. But otherwise, there's really nothing you could say about assault mode other than PvP meta with Purgatory Bond. Yeah, I guess you could say that he's, you know, he can't be used, but he still can. It's just going to be very hard to use him. So, obviously, very, very, very top tier unit, Assault Mode Meliodas. Same thing goes for Lolly Merlin. Obviously, you know, she's in SS range 2. Very, very good for fighting against the um, Grey Hell Demon. She can't be used against Belmoth. Neither can Assault Mode, really. Um, but, you know, she's very good against the Grey Hell Demon. All, she's really good all around, too, in PvP. Like, she has Power Strike. She can put a f Infect on. She has a barrier on her ultimate. She can't be one-shotted. So, she's still good. She's very, very good. She's, um... She's aged like fine wine, right? She just keeps going up and up and up. And the more unknown units that release, the p more powerful she'll get, right? She's kind of like Assault Melee in that regard, where her team is kind of centered around unknowns in a way, but you could run her with different units. Whereas Assault Mode, you literally need Demons or Commandments. So yeah. Um, Ram. Ram, I'll probably put in S, uh, S range as well. Um, I, hmm. Okay. I guess you could put Ram in SS, to be honest with you, because she's kind of like a, a goddess Elizabeth in a way where she can stun. However, she doesn't really do much beyond that. I mean, she, yeah, she has a rupture card, which can be okay, but eh. And her ultimate also decreases attack-related stats. So she has Death Pierce's ultimate, which is nice, right? Decreasing attack-related stats. She also buffs unknown race basic stats by 25%. So you could put her up here, but I think, honestly, I'll probably just put her along with Arthur because she's just a back slot unit. She, you know, no one really runs her in the front. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put her in S tier. My girl Roxy probably will put her in S tier as well because of the fact that she gets very, very buffed up when you run her with humans. If you wanted to put her in A tier, I could see it, Um, you know, because you do have... You have to run human, sort of, because her passive is she gets 15% increase to her attack related stats for each ally of the same race participating in battle, right? So, A tier is probably where a lot of people will put her. Maybe I'll just leave her at A tier. Yeah, I'll put her at A tier. Let me know down in the comments below if you think she should be S tier. Um, I don't think lower. If you put her lower, I, I think you're smoking something because she's, she's good, right? She's very good. Charge AoE, you know very strong skill one can cancel stances so very nice very nice mark two valenti definitely gonna put her in ss tier she's very good the problem with her she's limited but on bond banner she'll be back again problem with her she's limited but otherwise she's very good very very good nullifies aoe sever a strong one of the strongest ultimates in the game so very good very good will um, and then, you know, Zeldris. So, Zeldris definitely is in SS tier in terms of just green units by themselves, right? But when you look at it from a, a whole, like, every unit in the game perspective, he probably would be S or A tier, depending on where you, um, where you place him. Because if you, like, support units, obviously, you're going to favor him. But if you think he's, like, terrible, has no place now, obviously, you're going to put him lower, right? But in terms of just green units zelders is definitely top tier he has the highest attack set in the game um you know that's a testament to his strength he can stop ultimates one of the strong i think it is the strongest um i think it honestly is one of the strongest debuff cards in the game it's a good setback card so very strong he also decreases hp related stats of 
all his enemies, depending on, um, you know, if you don't get nullified. But he, he's good. He's very, very good. Also, his passive can be used on the sub slot. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice unit in general. But, yeah, this is pretty much the updated version of the green tier list that I did four months ago, which is crazy that it was four months ago. Um, but, yeah, so Green Gother, obviously, I explained why he's still there, right? Um, just a very good support type unit. Green Eskinor moved down. I was tempted to put him in A tier, but I think, honestly, he's still very good for new players. Um, he's still a nice unit to run. Droll, still a nice unit to run, right? Esterosa, still good. You know, full counter and everything like that. So, very good. Also, you can use him on the sub slot for PvP. So, very nice. Shin, very good unit. Weakness can uh, rank up, you know, allies cards if he uses three cards uh, consecutively. Very nice. Shatter AoE. Rugal moved down because not a lot of people use Rugal anymore. He's not really the uh, the dominant force that he once was. He's still good. It's just he wasn't, you know, you know, he's just not the dominant force he once was. Uh, Fighter Deanne, same thing. She moved down pretty much. People just use her for defense. That's it. Like, she really has no other redeeming qualities other than that. Zoratras and Jericho, um, Belmoth units, right? Very, very good Belmoth units. Um... Elizabeth, I kept Elizabeth in B because I don't think she's terrible, but I think the next time I do this, she might move down. I don't think, again, I don't think she's terrible. She can heal, um, you know, she can remove buffs with her skill one. She's just a healing unit, really. That's that's pretty much it, but I don't think she, like she's, you know, I think you can still use her in deathmatch. Um, you can definitely still use her in other areas of the game to just for a healing type unit so there you go athena moved down very very far um no one runs her she has a very good passive but no one runs her that that's that's it like she has a very good passive but um her stats are low because she came out last year for halloween um so her stats are just naturally lower so people just don't want to run her people might not have her um yeah she just moved down a lot demon melly green demon melly he's good um, just not crazy. Green Dede Yede, she actually is pretty damn good, which surprises me a lot, but she actually is very, very good. Um, so yeah, um, I explained Death Pierce. Green, Green Skinny King, yeah, I mean, everyone in C tier, I mean, you, you just... I will say, Helbra moved up from Trash to C because of Belmoth, so yeah, that's why he's in C tier, because he's very, very good for that raid, but that's it. That's literally it. Otherwise, all these units are pretty much self-explanatory. You could put him with Captain Melly, right? With Counter Melly. But I think, I, I think honestly, right? Green Nunchuck Bond, he should stay in C tier. He can somewhat, you know, keep up now with Extort. But, you know, like, no one runs him because he's so weak. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just it is what it is but yeah he can somewhat keep up valenti moved down no one runs pierce literally no one runs pierce so why would i you know why would i keep her in s tier <laughs> and she's not that good anymore anyway i mean yeah she can help with tanking with her attack related stats debuff but yeah and then yeah so d tier and trash um will unfortunately just he's it's a shame. I really thought he was going to be more broken than what he was, but I mean, it is what it is, right? You can't help trash. So yeah, he's, he's no, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I mean, this tier list, it seems to be, you know, accurate, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I, I think it's a pretty damn good tier list if you ask me, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like comment and you guys already know as always, I'll see you all next time.